It's time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France with our very own Florence Villeneuve. Hi, Florence. Hey, Jeannie. Now, today we're going to focus on the world of literature here in France. And when you think about French culture, of course, literature is one of the first things that pops into your mind. There are all those fantastic French classics, but literary culture is also very vibrant still today. It certainly is a dynamic uh, industry. About 400 million books are sold every year in France. Keep in mind the population is about 67 million, so that's a lot of books. It's in fact 13 books a second. Now, not only are French people avid readers, they're actually reading more and more. If we take a look at a recent study, 9 in 10 French people say they have read at least one book in the past 12 months. Now, if you compare that to uh, the United States, for instance, where in recent years the figure has been around 80 percent, it's quite high here in France. French people read on average 20 books a year, and their favorite kind of books are novels, and not just any novel, crime and detective novels are apparently the favorite kind of books that French people read ahead of comic books. Mm, comic books, the infamous BD that they call Bande them here in France. So French people are bookworms, but interestingly, it's particularly French women who read books. Indeed, there is a definite gender gap in the way people read. In France, 70% of people who read books on a regular basis are women. And studies suggest that men and women read for very different reasons. While French men read to sharpen their knowledge, French women tend to read to escape. Take a listen. Reading makes you use your imagination. It's intimate. You're alone with your book. Oh, it's a company like no other. Uh, books understand me. I understand them. It's nourishing. Men like to buy essays, political books, books by journalists, philosophy, science. They want content, content that's neither too fictitious nor too introspective. Mother's Day is a great sales day for bookstores. Father's Day, nothing happens. <laughs> So literature does hold a truly important place in France's cultural landscape. In fact, many authors have superstar status. Mainstream media often relays literary news, particularly literature prizes, which are numerous. There are tons of literature prizes. In fact, there are about 2,000 literature prizes in France, and about a dozen of them actually gather national interest. It's kind of like the Oscars or the Golden Globes. Now, you have the Prix Femina, you have the Prix Médicis, the Prix Renaudot, but the king of all prizes is the Prix Goncourt. It's such a national institution that is, in fact, our word du jour, le Prix Goncourt. Anyone who is anyone has won it. Marcel Proust, Simone de Beauvoir, Marguerite Duras, recently Michel Houellebecq, and uh, Leila Slimani. The prize is awarded by the Goncourt Academy, which is kind of an exclusive book club, I guess you could say, uh, that has 10 highly respected members. They meet in a restaurant in the heart of Paris to discuss literature, and each year there's a huge media frenzy when they decide who's going to win the year's Prix Goncourt. I was lucky enough to attend this year I must admit it was really exciting. It felt like witnessing a part of history. Take a look. So you can see this is the restaurant Drouin in the heart of Paris, the traditional restaurant where the most prestigious award for French literature is awarded. You can see them celebrating it here. The Prix Goncourt, the most prestigious, also the oldest award. It's been around since 1903, and it always takes place in a very exciting and quite festive atmosphere. Lots of people here celebrating this year's winner, of course, Eric Vuillard for his book L'Ordre du Jour, called, I guess you could say, The Agenda from the Edition Actes Sud. Let's listen to uh, when the award was announced. The Goncourt Prize 2017 has been awarded after three rounds of voting to Eric Vuillard for the agenda published by Actes Sud. So I'm on the staircase where the Prix Goncourt was just announced and Eric Vuillard can expect to win a symbolic check of 10 euros for the Prix Goncourt, but of course he'll see a huge boost in his book sales, so it is a literary jackpot for him. And he'll also get to enjoy quite a nice meal here in the Restaurant Drouin. I got the menu for today's Prix Goncourt and let me tell you, it sounds quite delicious. You've got oysters, foie gras, and their specialty, le homard. Uh, the lobster from Drouin with a little special lobster and a little special champagne from the restaurant Drouin. 
And there really is a special Drouin champagne. It looked quite de delicious. A the, Goncourt champagne. A Goncourt, yeah, a <laughs> Goncourt champagne. The, the Goncourt, it must be said, though, has been criticized in the past for being a little bit masculine. Even though there are female members of the jury, for instance, you have the, the very awesome Virginie Despentes, but to counterbalance that very masculine prize, that's why they created the Prix Féminin, which was created a year after the Goncourt, so in 1904, with an all-female jury. Now, interestingly, many of these literature awards actually have special mini versions of their prizes that are delivered by high school students. Indeed, you have the Goncourt des lycéens, you have the Femina des lycéens. The, the idea, of course, is to encourage young people to read, because even though a fourth of books sold in France are catered to young people and children, the amount of time that kids read actually tends to decrease as they become teenagers. Now, some teenagers say it's because they have other priorities, but not all of them. You can see. I don't know. Reading's boring. When we have free time, we want to relax in a stupider way than reading. We're surrounded by high-tech things. Music, phones, computers. We don't want to read. I usually read magazines and uh, comic books. I love reading books. It's poetic. One of my favorite things is the smell. Books smell good. Books do smell good. And now apparently <laughs> apparently reading does become cool again after adolescence. About 75% of 25 to 34 year olds, for instance, wish that they had more time to read. Perhaps they want to uh, take a page from Marcel Proust's book. He famously said, real life, life at last laid bare and illuminated. The only life in consequence which can be said to be really lived is literature. Oh, that's beautiful. So thank you so much. I'm very happy to see my book club tonight, actually. <laughs> thank you very much. That was that last uh, French Connections on Literature here on France 24. Remember, if you have any questions about other things that have to do with France or the French, be sure to get in touch with Flo at Flo Villemaneau.